What's going on everybody? It's your boy Read My Soul and I'm back with another review for you. Today I'm going to discuss what I believe is the best Jordan Retro of 2022. Let's get off into it. <laughs> It's your boy Read My Soul, and I'm back with another review for you. Today, I'm going to discuss what I believe is the best Jordan Retro of 2022. You know, the obvious answer for some people would be the Air Jordan Lost and Found 1. But to me personally, that wasn't really obtainable. The release was pretty terrible. I wasn't even able to sign in to the Nike sneakers app, so I wasn't able to hit that shoe. But still i still believe that you know that wasn't a true retro that was a kind of you know they put some age on it it wasn't true to the retro it wasn't true to the og it wasn't even true to the 2015 version which was a little bit more true to the og it had a little bit more age on it you know lost and found mold all those different things so to me personally the best jordan retro of 2022 is this shoe right here <laughs> personal favorite Jordan Retro of 2022. I mean, this is the first time I've ever received a Nike Air Jordan 3. And the crazy thing about it was, for me personally, I was able to obtain it for under retail. This was sitting at my local Nike factory store and I was able to scoop it because I have a family member who works for Nike. I was able to get the swoosh discount. And getting retros that are sitting now for the first time, you know, a lot of OGs are sitting, I'm able to get them for under retail. So shout out to the sneaker game for doing that because I believe personally that retros aren't worth the price tag that they're given. So for me to, to be able to obtain them on a discount is very, very, very economical <laughs> for the channel. And also just, I just think that retros are older and that, you know, they're not really worth um, the price tag that they get, you know, especially sometimes the quality isn't always that amazing. It did come with the, the retro card, which I think is really awesome. Um, it breaks down, you know, what the shoe is made out of. It came with like the Nike Air box with like Jumpman on it. Nike Air right there with the cement print, elephant print um, right there. So came with like elephant print paper on the inside, elephant print kind of paper or whatever. I was able to obtain them for about 157 after the discount. So, you know, that was pretty cool. They were, they were sitting. And I think that's a part of being the shoe of the year is if it's obtainable. A lot of the times people like to make their shoe of the year something that they don't even have or they weren't able to obtain for retail that's the name of the game so if you went and bought resale for the lost and found it's like come on man that shoe is not worth 350 dollars. that shoe is not worth 500 dollars. but you know if it if it's worth it to you cool but to me this was the better retro um the quality on this was amazing they got that toe box correct the uh, elephant print is amazing. Not gonna lie, that Nike Air is popping. And for the, the fact that these set, it just shows you that, you know, the sneaker game is changing. And I always say that certain silhouettes don't work for everybody. So, you know, certain si silhouettes don't work for, you know, um, certain demographics. The chunkier Air Jordan shoes usually sit because, you know, they don't work for other demographics. But to me, man, this is a beauty. I can't even, I can't even hold you. I apologize for looking in the, uh, looking at the camera but boy these are amazing man they did an amazing job on these and they were available like they they set and you can still kind of catch them depending on what size you're looking for man but um i think that this shoe within the next year or two is going to be triple it's worth double it's worth because people are going to realize how good of a retro it actually was the nike air brandon on the pull tab the great tumble leather um 
the Nike Air branding on the inside. The, uh, you know, I got some on feeds while I'm talking right here. Let me know how you feel about these things, man. To me, these were definitely a must cop for the year, especially, like I said, they were available for you to cap. Um, and if you had that, that, uh, that swoosh discount, you got that swoosh connection, man, you know, you were probably able to cop these for, you know, under retail. So, you know, um, I like the fact that certain Jordan retros are sitting. It gives me an opportunity to cop at a cheaper cost. But um, like I said, let me know what your comments are in the bottom. It does, you know, to me, it's okay if the Lost and Found Air Jordan ones are your favorite retro. That's cool. Um, that's that's fine by me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get it. I understand. It definitely was a dope shoe. But you know, for me, um, I'm more of a three guy anyway. The three and the four is probably my favorite Air Jordans. Um, they're the ones that I have the most of and that the ones that I keep in my collection no matter what I always got to have a nice pair of threes. So leave your comments on what you thought was the best retro of 2022 and I'm gonna hit you with another video. Peace